Glad that you're watching NewsX with me, Gauri Tivedi. Now, IT raids at Eagleton Golf Resorts where Congress MLAs from Gujarat have been camping. The Income Tax Department also carrying out raids uh, uh, at uh, various locations, including at DK Shivakumar's residence. All right, there's more breaking news that's coming in right now. Enforcement Directorate is likely to move in now. All likelihood of D.K. Shivakumar being arrested. That's the information that is coming in from uh, the source base information right now. That money recovered from D.K. Shivakumar close aid residence in Delhi. And Enforcement Directorate is likely to arrest uh, D.K. Shivakumar on this. So clearly this uh, is, uh, battle is only likely to escalate ahead of uh, the Rajya Sabha polls. Let me now go across to my colleague uh, Jay Prakash, uh, who's been on top of this story uh, by breaking it uh, first in the morning and since then, of course, getting us every angle on this. Uh, uh, JP, now it is uh, ED that is closing in on DK. Well, absolutely. Uh, drama at the Eagleton Golf Resort, we started at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, never seem to die because uh, right now we are told uh, that a huge uh, cash, uh, cash uh, which was uh, seized uh, from his Delhi residence uh, with this uh, amounting to about seven and a half crores is huge and uh, uh, D.K. Shukumar was uh, quizzed uh, at his Sadashiv Nagar residence uh, uh, as soon as the counting was over by the IT department and uh, he failed to give any explanation and uh, he's asking for uh, a legal aid. He's, uh, he said that he will speak to uh, the, uh, uh, the IT sleuth in, in the presence of his advocate but uh, the, uh, the info, the uh, uh, IT, IT uh, sleuths are uh, grilling him, uh, left right and center, asking him the source of this kind of money. Uh, post demonetization, it is very difficult to even have a cash of two lakhs, uh, let alone uh, seven and a half crores. Uh, this being the case, uh, we are told that uh, ED, the enforcement directorate, will now move into the picture because DK Shukumar has failed to give any kind of convincing answer on uh, his uh, huge cash cash, uh, which is worth seven and a half crores. Uh, this being the case, uh, around the uh, 839, that is what we hear that ED will uh, come into his house, uh, then uh, it's going to be a midnight drama where uh, he will be arrested by the enforcement directorate. Uh, even as the Congress is upping its ante with a lot of protests, uh, this is quite evident and uh, this will change the way politics is split in the state of Karnataka. But given the fact that D.K. Shivkumar is a political heavyweight, uh, he is uh, virtually the number two in the Congress government right now. Mm. Even as the minister has attacked uh, uh, the, uh, the BJP dispensation, the IT department's uh, the raid has been very fruitful to the extent that they have got uh, this seven and a half crores uncounted money uh, in yes. the residences. Uh, we are also given uh, so, uh, we are also told that uh, uh, he's got a huge uh, locker inside uh, his house in Bangalore and uh, he is uh, being a very tough nut to crack. He refused to open the courts because he alone knows the courts for this uh, locker. So a lot of drama being unfolded at uh, D.K. Shukumar's residence right now. But uh, ultimately, his arrest looked imminent. That is going to be a midnight drama there. Okay, uh, Jay Prakash, this is what I wanted to ask you. That, you know, uh, are you saying this could happen today itself uh, ahead of uh, the crucial Raj Sabha polls? Uh, uh, as you're pointing out, that this could really be midnight drama where uh, D.K. Shivakumar could be arrested by the enforcement director. It's closing in on uh, in D.K. Shivakumar, but uh, it could happen uh, in a couple of hours is what you're saying? Well, absolutely, because uh, there is a lot of incriminating documents and evidences which has uh, been recovered from D.K. Shivakumar, several, uh, uh, several premises, uh, be it his house in Bangalore, Sadashiv Nagar, at the golf resort here, because he tore some... Uh, uh, some papers and uh, the ED has picked, uh, sorry, the IT has picked up those papers and... Uh, Jeff, Prakash, stay with us. We've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a voice from the BJP. Malvika Abnas joining us uh, on the show, on this story. Malvika, at the end of the day, agencies are moving in very, very closely, uh, very, very fast uh, on DK Shivakumar. It's been happening by the hour. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, the Congress is saying it will, in fact, further increase uh, its argument that it's political vendetta that BJP is resorting to, it's using these investigative agencies against the Congress ahead of those crucial Raj Sabha elections. I think the Congress uh, simply is looking for an alibi because uh, going from what you are reporting, there has been a lot of evidence that has been collected that is indeed, uh, you know, uh, making them uh, feel extremely uh, uncomfortable. There are reports of huge stashes of cash being found. 
and uh, this raid was anyway underway because the income tax does, uh, department does not uh, decide today and go and raid tomorrow right there is a process to it there is a legal process to it and they follow their procedure and going by that procedure they have conducted the raid now mr dk shukumar was staying at eagleton therefore his room in eagleton was raided by the it department as part of all the searches that they have conducted because they have to search every every place that uh, you know that he okay but because same with us we've got a congress voice as well we've got brijesh kalappa of the congress joining us on the phone line mr kalappa the source based information that we have at news x is that the enforcement directorate is now closing in on dk shivakumar it's a matter of hours before he in fact will be arrested by the ed your first response to that no this was long expected you see the first thing is that uh, th this has a direct link to gujarat and in gujarat the uh, mlas of the congress party are being sought to be bought like cattle by the bjp because you see the bjp has a huge amount of money of demonetization are you say <laughs> uh, uh, so you are of course <laughs> So there is a bad audio. There is a bad audio that uh, I would request my producer to fix. Uh, uh, but what Mr. Kalappa of the Congress is essentially saying that this is directly related to those Rajya Sabha elections, where it's a high-stakes battle between the BJP and the Congress. On one side, of course, it is Amit Shah looking to enter, and on the other side, it is Ami uh, Ahmed Patel's re-entry or re-election. that uh, the bjp is really looking to thwart uh, malvika vinash coming on the fact that it's just political vendetta that uh, bjp is resorting to right now why now why not later or why not earlier do you think the ed is closing in on dk shukumar if it's only political vendetta why why has so much cash been found if it's only political vendetta why was he tearing up papers in front of the it fluid and just now brijesh kalappa was talking of how they are going to be purchased like cattle do they have a shred of evidence even to suggest that any of them were offered money and if they are willing to be sold like cattle then it only uh, further exposes the congress party and how the mlas of the congress brijesh kalappa respond to that agencies support. don't wake up one fine day and decide to be on somebody's tail it is a it is something that comes up the investigation takes months takes weeks and this is a culmination of a long investigation it hasn't happened overnight Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Galapa, if you can hear me, my question to you is: What the BJP is saying right now that uh, investigative agencies like the ED uh, or or even uh, the IT department raids that have been taking place since morning don't happen overnight. This has been a culmination of a long drawn process of investigation, and it uh, and the Congress has just been giving a very lame argument of uh, political vendetta. You see, the first uh, quality of being a good journalist is to be curious. Now, if you are going to buy the BJP's version, no, no, sir. I am not buying then, the argument. I am yeah. just saying what the BJP is saying. I want you to respond no, to that. I am not no, buying no, any no, argument, sir. The, 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 the first thing I'd like to say is that you see, that this is this uh, entire raid has a direct linkage to what is happening in Gujarat. As you know, about uh, 40 or 42 of our MLAs are in uh, mortal danger. The police have been after them. Then, apart from that, there, there a huge amount of money has been uh, offered to them to be bought and sold like horses. Like the BJP has done earlier in the case of Arunachal Pradesh, in the case of Uttarakhand, in the case of Goa, and in Manipur. Now, Malvika Vinash, I just heard, was asking for proof. The Supreme Court has passed strictures against them in both Arunachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Both cases, the Supreme Court has passed strictures. In fact, the BJP is so brazen. Arunachal Pradesh, they paid the same MLAs. For once, up before the judgment, and the second time after the judgment. So the same MLA. It's over. It became such a controversy that the Chief Minister of the of Arunachal Pradesh committed suicide because only only because the central uh, BJP leadership was asking for a refund of the money. Now, with such gory details, now they are again doing the very same thing in uh, Karnataka. Now, because of the fact that you know the MLAs don't have protection in Gujarat, they've been shifted to Karnataka. They've been placed under the, the protection of a, a senior minister by the name of D.K. Shiv Kumar. Where is the need to pick up Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar now? If there was income tax against him, he has been a minister for the last three years, okay. four years. Wait. Okay.
Oh, and attack Nas- him now. I know why. I know. Importantly, where was the need to send CRPF along with the uh, income tax? See, the point is now Malika is saying huge amount of money has been found. The point is the only party which has money after demonetization, everybody knows, is the BJP, and they are going uh, running MRs, buying MLAs mm. from every place. Now, keeping this in mind, where was the need for income tax officers who are going to conduct a raid to take CRPF along with light machine guns and heavy arm, armed uh, uh, guards? Right. Where was the need? Okay. Unless you're yourself carrying Malvika, money respond to, to that. Mal- okay. Malvika, respond to that, that at the end of the day, it was IT raids. It was happening simultaneously at various locations. As Vijesh Kalapa or the Congress has been saying, it, is, it was an arm-twisting uh, exercise by the BJP to intimidate the MLAs ahead of the elections, uh, the Rajya Sabha election. But why the need to have uh, paramilitary forces when IT raids are happening? Why central forces are being used uh, on, on IT raids? That's unheard of. If I were to go about what about raid, then I think uh, I'll have a lot more stories to tell than Mr. Kalapa. Mr. Kalapa can peddle all his lies and then make up a case for Mr. B.K. Shukumar, who has been found... Uh, holding this this kind of cash, it's all there in front of everyone to, uh, to see and to you know connect it to the Gujarat election is is laughable because the IT raids are not conducted by the government. But India. Malvika, They're nobody can deny Gujarat. the swift the swift pace at which everything is moving. In the morning, you had IT raids that were being conducted, and now in the evening, the source based exclusive information that we have at NewsX is that ED will be zeroing in on DK very, very soon. So this kind of a very rapid pace of investigation is, is unusual. You would agree it's unusual? It is not unusual. There have been raids even on GM Siddesh or BJP uh, two months ago. Now, uh, the IT raiding a person is not unusual, is not unconstitutional, is not illegal. I did not say that, Malvika. I did not say that the IT raids are unusual. I said the, the pace at which the investigation is being taken in, going on for the last 12 hours, that is unusual. Morning, you're talking about IT raids. By evening, we are hearing about ED looking to arrest DK Shivakumar. That pace is unusual. You see, they are, they are doing what they ought to do. They are doing what they ought to do and what is expected of them to do in uh, rendering their duties. Now, if the ED is moving in, there, there must be something so incriminating that they are moving in. But, uh, but then all this is unsubstantiated. You are saying, sources are saying, how do we know for sure that the ED is moving in? Even if they are, they cannot be doing it illegally because they're there. They're Mr. D.K. Shukumar, if he really uh, then believes that the whole thing is political vendetta, he can go to court and challenge all of this. So right. Nobody is going to do all this mindlessly, right? Rajesh Kalapa. Rajesh Kalapa, yeah. beyond the argument of beyond the argument of vendetta politics, how does one how can you justify the crores of rupees that were found in in the in the during the IT raids? Surely there is no justification for anywhere. All sorts of numbers are coming in anywhere from five crores to seven crores. Even somebody said uh, upwards of eight nine crores, but nobody can deny. Uh, I, I'm sure you need to come up with an argument and an explanation as to why so much of money was recovered in the first place. No, first of all, let me ask you one basic question. If there is an income tax raid on me or maybe on you also, right? The income tax departments will come, they quietly do their job and they go away, right? Now, how is how am I to get information that yeah, there was a raid in your premises and X amount of money was found? Unless the income tax officer either is planting the money, one, or two, is providing that information. We don't know how much money has been found, but there is a huge amount of speculation. X amount has been found, Y amount has been found, Z amount has been found. All kinds of speculations are there. Now, but let's assume for a moment that any all those speculations are right. Then there are two explanations. One, like I told you, that the income tax officers are going along with all right. the armed guard. Why? They must, then it's only plausible that since this is a political, 100% political issue, they are carrying the money along with them to go and plant it so that it looks like X amount of money has been found at so and so person's place. They and then they the money back and they go back. This, is, this is the one thing. This is the one thing. The second thing is, that supposing there is amount we are found thing also. Thing also. Thing thing all right, Rajesh Kalapa, Malvika Vinan, many thanks, many thanks for joining me on the Newsmax Hotline. Thank you so much. Many thanks for joining me on this story right now. We haven't heard the last of this.
ahead of the Rajya Sabha polls, a politically charged uh, discussion is likely to take place for the next couple of days. Uh, it's a high stakes battle. Congress is, is, is saying it is political vendetta. The BJP is saying, well, come up with better explanations. But nobody, absolutely nobody can deny the pace at which the investigative agencies are in fact zeroing in on DK Shivakumar. In fact,